And I've always had my students doing writing for audiences besides me, but be thanks to technology and my foray into blogging myself about starting about two and a half years ago, uh, after a semester of blogging myself personally, I decided like it was amazing. And so I was like, oh, I'm just going to have my students try it. And I've never looked back. And it's something I will do forever. And it's like, it's entered into my pantheon of things that I will never not do. Like I will be blogging with my students for the rest of my life. Students can write about anything they want to write about as long as it in some way ties back to what they learned over the last week or two in my class. And I usually what I do is I want them to reframe it. So you could call it, some people call it reframing, some people remixing, but so, for example, um, this week in class, we were talking about um, short sentences, like fragments, aposiopasis, uh, M dashes, um, ellipses, different things like that. So, what is that like out in something else? So, maybe it's uh, students want to talk about their favorite short films. Maybe it's students want to talk about a, a moment in a baseball game that that one short little moment encapsulated everything, right? Just like a, a short little sentence would do in the middle of your writing. So I have them look to things that they're into, that they like, their sports, their activities, their, you know, video games, right? Um, whatever they like, and then related in some way to what we learned in class. And that way, they're taking what we learned in the class, they're applying it in a real way, they're they're making it relevant in their life, and then they write about it. So I don't give them writing prompts every week to do. Um, this is much more personal than that, but I do want them to engage in whatever we're reading. It, you know, it might be what's coming up in Catcher on the Rye that we're reading. And there's a situation that happens, and then how does that relate to their lives, to their interest, and then they write about it. That sounds like a great idea. So they have a lot of freedom, but they do have to tie it into something. Right, right. And, and then I'll give them a little uh, challenge every week. So, And the challenge is not topic-based. The challenge is procedurally based. So, for example, this past week was include some of those short sentences in your writing, you know, and then I'm going to look for how you use those. And it might be like one week I'll do use a, use a pull quote effectively or um, I want you to bring in an outside source, but I'd like you to format it so that the reference looks like it's MLA cited with a little work cited at the bottom, which real bloggers do. They'll put sometimes references at the bottom and they'll you know integrate it right into their writing. So I'll give them procedural challenges every week, just one. Um, and then that's what I look for when I'm when I'm grading them and taking a look at them is besides just their writing and everything, I'm, I'll look for that one thing, that procedural challenge, but then the topic is more open. And the nice thing also about having the open topic is I don't have to come up with topics every week. And I don't have to worry about, oh, some of the kids will like the topic and some won't like the topic. So just tie it back to the class, do the challenge, and then boom, you're all set to go. Yeah, 